Velachara offers seniors beautiful apartment living. It's a special secure place to belong, providing choice, freedom and professional care. Each spacious apartment comes with an ensuite, veranda, security and on-call nurses. Entertain your guests in the elegantly appointed shared spaces. Our vibrant activities program will keep your mind and body active. Bella Chara welcomes new residents. Call us today on 52025300 for a personal tour. The two blues from Newtown and Chewell Cricket Club are turning on the pressure as another win over the height and heat last weekend put it into fourth, fifth position, beg your pardon, on the current GCA Division 1 ladder, heading into the final round of 2012 tomorrow. News Geelong spoke with the senior coach, Brian Thomas, at the picturesque ground at Queen's Park. And Brian travelling along nicely and looking at a final four place before the uh, half-season break. Yeah, after the St Joey's has been called off today, hopefully we get a win here and do get a top four before Christmas for the young team we have got. Three sides sitting on 18 and you're bound to get a result today and uh, you do emphasise the young team. It is a really good looking young Newtown and Chewell side. What have you done? <laughs> We've, the average age of the club is 20. So and that's what we, we rebuild the club. But that's the honour of getting people to come around and get you to coach a club and to rebuild it. We've gone with youth and youth is paying off at the moment. So hopefully in the next couple of years it will. We don't, we're not looking at premierships just yet. One uh, finals chance would be uh, fantastic, but we don't look at premierships just yet. Well, the year of the uh, the two blues, or super town as they were back in the 70s, the cycle does come around, and when you've got uh, young players like uh, Riley Ferguson out in the middle uh, at the present time batting solidly, it really does give you that opportunity to build. Yeah, there's a few young people. We've got... Uh we are blessed having the college team that come down. They won the whole association versus all the colleges. Jack Wood, Riley Ferguson's a very good leader, but he's got some good men around him in uh, Ben Neville and uh, Justin Foss. But, yeah, if you've got a leader like uh, Riley, and we can build it from there and build a team around him. You mentioned John, Justin Foss, uh, excellent career at the Geelong Cricket Club in Premier Cricket and has made the transition across to GCA Division 1 at Newtown and Chewell in big style, picking up uh, good wickets, another five wickets last week, and still got the vim in the, uh, in the old leagues. Yeah, look, Justin's come across as an all-rounder. Um, he's just trying to get used to the, the pace of the pitch, which a, a lot of VCA people do they come back and they don't find it Clinton Peak's an exception but everybody else takes a couple of years to get used to it he's batting down the order today we're expecting a lot bigger and better things for him after Christmas um, with the ball he's yeah, helped us out a lot um, he's got a lot of experience down Geelong but uh, we're looking for more from the bat Brian your experience with the Bowen Rockets uh, has certainly been uh, one where you've made a stamp as a coach have you uh, and now you're continuing that on with uh, the Newtown and Chilwell Cricket Club it's it it's the positive thing that the under-18s, that's the thing I do charge with and they've accepted it down here at Newtown Cricket Club that we talk about positives. The easiest thing in life is to look at a negative and uh, the young blokes love positives, they feed off positives and they don't like negatives, especially this Generation Y crew, they uh, like the positive and if you feed a lot of positives they react pretty well. And after some of the bad weather we've had this week, uh, the inevitable Jim GT Taylor, he's brought up another magnificent wicket under such very difficult conditions. There's one thing that I did agree with when I took the job on, that GT was the curator, and GT agreed to that. And uh, I come down here this morning and uh, there's a white wicket. Right, I don't know how he's got it up, but he's probably the best curator in Geelong. And of the teams that you've played and uh, all seen so far this season in GCA Division 1, who do you rate as uh, the ones to beat? Anybody with Clinton Peak in the side is going to be a hard team to beat. So between Geelong West and South Barland, because Sam Loftus for the last three years he's made 100 every time we've played him and his calibre and understanding of the game is huge. So if you've got cricketers like that in your side, so they have to be the favourites, South Barland and Geelong West, because of those two players. But it'd be great for you at Newtown and Chewell to at least get some finals experience by making the final four in your current uh, vision of uh, progress towards grand finals. Yeah, we've got a bit bigger vision than that. We want all four sides to play finals this year. Um, it, it, the focus is on club, not just the ones at this club. We want four teams in the finals and because we're such a young club they all self-believe in that and they've all got on board with the product that we're selling which is we want everybody to succeed at this club at the same time. The 
former Demon fast bowler with St Joseph's, now turned super coach down at Newtown and Chilwell. Brian Thomas, thanks for your time and all the very best for the rest of the season. Thanks, Rollo. Thanks, Vano. Thank you, Sir Brian Thomas, and a very Merry Christmas to you and Fiona and the kids up there in Newtown. Hope Father Christmas brings you what you deserve, Brian, if you've got a big enough bag. Let's have a look at the world of local bowls. And in round 11 of the Division 1 in Geelong Lawn Regional Bowls, some very close encounters but interesting matches took place. And after the end of round 11, the ladder looks very, very interesting. Queenscliff Blue are sitting out on top of 154 points, over Torquay 142, Belmont 133, and Queenscliff Gold have ducked into the final four at this stage on 110 after their win over Heighton last week. Port Arlington sit on 106, Heighton sit on 101. Then the situation gets interesting because Geelong RSL are on 88, Drysdale 76, Leopold 41 and Geelong West 39. The battle is on between those four sides to avoid relegation. That's the interesting part about Division 1 bowls. Who's going to win the Premiership and who's going to be relegated? Looking at uh, today's, uh, tomorrow's rounds in round 12, the last round of 2012, it's a replay of round 3. And this time we see Belmont playing Geelong RSL up at Belmont. I think Belmont will be too strong for Geelong RSL. Drysdale take on Heighton down at the Drysdale Greens. Heighton should be back in winning form. Port Arlington should be too strong for, for Leopold down at Port Arlington. Queenscliff Gold take on Queenscliff Blue, the match of the season. And could this be a precursor to the Division 1 Grand Final? I'll go for Queenscliff Gold. And in the final match tomorrow in Division 1, Torquay take on Geelong West down at Torquay. I think Geelong West will find the difficulty of the Torquay Greens just too much for them and the Torquay boys to take the points. In Division 1 of Geelong and District Bowls, final round for 2012 tomorrow. We'll go to a break and return with more sport after this.